Okay, another shootout following the, uh, the last two, which brought into question differences in performance with the uh, Apple MacBook Air uh, with 8 gigs of RAM, uh, an M1 processor, and the Mac Mini, which has the same amount of uh, RAM, 8 gigs, but an M2 processor. So I'm putting these two against each other now. Um, let's get rid of those screens. Oh, I was going to touch it there. It's not going to work, is it? Go away. There we go. Okay, um, so let's start them off and see how we get on. First reading I give you is going to be, is going to be the MacBook Air. Second will be the Mac Mini. So off the blocks, we've got 23% for the MacBook Air against 21% for the Mac Mini. So the Mac Mini not having to use quite as much processing power, although not much in it. MacBook Air now saying 21. Mac Mini also saying 21, so neck and neck at the moment. Uh, MacBook Air 21, Mac Mini 21. So still neck and neck at this point. Um, I'd expect the Mac Mini with the M2 processor to be using less, have a lower percentage in terms of using less of its processing power. That doesn't seem to be the case for some reason. Um, now 21 against 21, so still even Stevens. Um, coming into the faster section of this song, which comes from Mind Loops called Keep It Simple, um, should require a bit more processing power. And in the build up, we've got 25% for the Mac Mini against 26% for the Mac Mini. I beg your pardon, the first one is the MacBook Pro. 22% um, for the MacBook Pro against 26% for the Mac Mini, 26% for the MacBook Air, 29% for the Mac Mini, 27% for the MacBook Air, 29% for the Mac Mini. So that's strange, that's not what I would have expected at this point. 27% for the uh, MacBook Air with the M1 processor against 33% now for the Mac Mini with the M2 processor. So something is amiss here. 28% for the uh, MacBook Air against 31% for the Mac Mini. Um, let's leave it running for a little bit longer. We're now down to 27%. 28% for the MacBook Air against 31% for the Mac Mini. So the Mac Mini with the M2 processor and the same spec otherwise happen to work harder. Um, I don't know why that is, but I'm uh, just being honest with you, that's the way it's showing up here. Um, could be I've got a dodgy um, Mac Mini M2 processor, I don't know. Very odd. Anyway, let's call it a day there. I think we've probably seen enough. Final read out there will be 24% for the MacBook Air against 28% for the Mac Mini. Um, okay, interesting. Um, I might do a bit more research, see if I can find out why the uh, M1 processor in the MacBook Air seems to be doing better with FL Studio than the M2 processor in the Mac Mini. Interesting. Anyway, thanks so much for your time. If you've enjoyed uh, this video, give it a like. If you'd like to see more performance videos along these lines for FL Studio, um, then subscribe. Thanks very much for your time. Bye-bye.